Hey guys, what is up? Today we are going to be talking about Shade the Changing Girl, issue number 9, just came out. Uh, it's a follow-up to what has been a really fun story so far about Shade really, pardon the pun, but spreading her wings. Going to Gotham by herself to experience Earth in, at its fullest capacity. This issue, she's going to see the concert of the Sonic Boom, someone that was big on the Honey Show that she fell in love with from Earth to begin with. And this whole issue deals with getting old, what that means to her, to her race, what that means to humans, uh, and the difference between uh, wanting to feel young and be young. There's some really poignant, fun stuff in this issue uh, about the, to the core of who we're learning who Shade is and who uh, she's really becoming. Uh, seeing her experience Earth from yet another new angle is fun. Of course, seeing her react to how much has changed on Earth between the show Honey and between now. Uh, and also, there's just some really fun moments with the band that I really dug. I love how music-focused these past couple issues have been. I love this cover to death. This is a freaking awesome cover. Uh, Shade continues to be the book that I'm always pleasantly surprised by with Young Animal. Young Animal, I, mean, I love all their books, but every time I pick up Shade... I almost forget how much I love it until I start reading it again. Like, oh yeah, I love this series. Uh, the art is still great. Cecil's writing is still incredible. Uh, the story's going fun places, and I like that it's expanding to Gotham, and that we're seeing Gotham through the eyes of a very, very different character than we usually see in Gotham. I did love there's some little uh, things in the background going on, like the radio host talking about people being uh, drugged, or people being this, or people being that, or feeling like Feeling the effects of Shade in a big way, especially the last issue where the entire city went crazy because of her, essentially. Shade continues to be a strong entry uh, every issue. And that's what I continually, continuously say about Young Animals. Every issue is solid and great. This one, especially, I love... I've always loved books that uh, involve how different people view death, and this has death and getting old. And this has a cool... I have some cool ideas around that, and it sets up uh, a meeting between some people that should be very interesting in the Shade universe. So yeah, Shade Changing Girl issue number nine, still really loving this. Uh, what did you guys think of this issue? What did you guys expect from it? What did you get? What did you not get? Uh, this is pretty much exactly what I wanted from this issue when I knew uh, last issue when I said that she was going to go see this band. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to issue 10. I have a few more reviews coming out soon, including uh, a non-young animal one, which I'm really excited about, and hopefully you guys will watch it. Uh, until then, leave a comment, like, subscribe, all of that stuff, and I'll see you guys in another review or video soon. Thank you for watching.